All right, Mr. Cash, we're back. Only this time we've gone back in time with Terry here. So it seems. Who is, as Belinda acknowledged earlier, is a World War II reenactment officer. Welcome, Terry. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, I'm glad to be here. So how long have you done this, and what brings you out to the event today? Well, I've been uh, uh, into history for the last 20 years or so. As far as reenacting, I've been doing this uh, with the Southern Nevada Living History Association for uh, a, a little over a year and a half. And uh, today, I just I want to be here to uh, to support the veterans, and uh, I uh, I think it's a great cause, and uh, I, you know I'm honored to be here to to. Uh, to honor them and um, uh, and their sacrifices and uh, uh, what they did was was a, an amazing thing and uh, uh, they have all my respect. I just like to you know I want to do all I can to support them. Terry, tell us a little bit about your uniform. It's got a cup. The sergeant stuff I get, mm -hmm. but what about the other patches and the thing on your head? All right. Well, this is uh, this is my uh, my garrison cap. Um, uh, it's actually uh, uh, an airborne uh, garrison cap, uh, and uh, then the uh, rest of my uniform is a regular fatigue uniform from 1943. Uh, Second Infantry Division is the. Um, the insignia that I have on my left shoulder here, and uh, I am uh, my group's platoon sergeant, so uh, I, the, the rank is technical sergeant, and um, uh, this is what uh, what uh, these guys would have been wearing if they were in the infantry in uh, in about 1943, 1944. Minus the backpack. <laughs> right, minus the backpack. <laughs> what kind of responses are you getting from the veterans that are here when they see you in uniform, and it's taking them back literally 65, 70 years in time? What what kind of responses are you hearing from the veterans? Well, uh, they'll come up and, and they'll say, they'll, they'll point out things. They'll say, I wore that, you know, I wore that uniform or, you know, uh, we, we had this and we had that. And um, uh, or some of them will come up and say something to the effect of, of boy, it's been a long time since I've seen that. <laughs> and uh, uh, just kind of, you can see that it kind of brings them back. It bring you know, that, and and more than anything the most of the response that, that I get and that the other guys get is they're grateful for us representing them that that's what they've said to us they said thank you for doing this thank you for for uh, for representing uh, us and and um, and now that, that's one of the important things for us is to make sure that we're doing it right sure um, you know it's taken this country a long time to finally honor all the veterans and, and really make a big deal out of it. And unfortunately, it took 9-11 for that to happen. But, you know, out of every bad comes a good. At least I like to believe that. And in this particular case, I think what you're doing is just great. Well, thanks. I'm, I'm really honored to, to be able to do it. Uh, now, you have a couple other guys here, too, dressed in uniform. You want to explain what they're dressed in? Yeah, what they're dressed absolutely. Like? Um, they are... Um, well, one's my platoon leader, and uh, he's uh, got a lieutenant's uniform on, and he's, uh, it's also infantry. He's wearing the uh, double buckle boots okay. from, from the infantry, and uh, he's wearing his wool pants that were used both for, for service and for dress. And then he's got uh, his, his field jacket on, and uh, that was kind of the way that it was back then. It was kind of a mixture of, of different things at various times because they weren't real um, strict on uniform, um, on having uh, the uh, uh, specifics of the uniforms and things like that like they are these days and, you know, um, last, you know, a couple of decades. Right. And so you often had people who had a mixture of various types of uniforms, whether it was uh, fatigue or or uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, George Patton made his guys always wear a tie, even right. in combat. And right. So yeah, it's something you definitely wouldn't see anymore. Well, I'm sure that these guys are excited to see you guys here in their uniforms. I'm, I'm surprised you're even associating with an officer. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm, I'm his assistant, so, uh, you know, being the platoon sergeant, so yeah. I, I've there got There you go. You. <laughs> well, listen, Terry, we know you've got an important job here today, and that's directing everybody over to the entry table, so we will want to let you get back to that. Thank All you right. so much for stopping thank by you. and Thanks thank you for, for what you me. do for the veterans we appreciate it yes we do thanks again Phillips and cash will be back with more right after this